how to check if someone is spying on your phone. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple different steps you can take to check if someone is spying on your iPhone. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribe to my channel because that really helps me out. So one of the easiest ways to tell if someone is spying on your phone is to check for a green or an orange dot at the top of the screen. So as you can see here, I open up the camera and what these dots mean is that an app is accessing either your camera or your microphone. So if you see a dot like that, swipe down from the top right to open the control menu and then select the little option at the very top. This will bring up a privacy menu where then you can see which app is accessing your camera, your microphone, or your location. So as you can see, that was the camera that was accessing my camera or microphone. That's okay. But if you see an app that you don't recognize that's accessing those items, I would recommend uninstalling that app, especially if you did not install it. And just to show you how to uninstall apps, all you would need to do is swipe from right to left until you get to the app library, then find the app you want to uninstall, long press it, and then select delete app, and then confirm you want to remove that app. So the next thing you can do to check if someone is spying on your phone is to first open up the settings. And once you're in settings, scroll down all the way to the bottom and select apps. Now that we're in apps, we're going to go down to the P section and we're going to select phone. And now that we're in phone, we first want to select calls on other devices under the calls section. You want to make sure that this is off. And if it's turned on, you want to make sure that any devices listed are apps that you own and use. If you don't own them, use them, turn off their access or turn off allow calls on other devices. Additionally, we can go back and scroll all the way down and then select SMS and call reporting. If you didn't turn this on, go ahead and select none and this will prevent your SMS and calls from being reported to a third party. Usually this is used to detect spam. So if it's turned on, make sure that that is a call filter that you're using for spam detection. But if you didn't turn that on, go ahead and select none and that'll prevent any possibility of someone spying through that method. Now we can go back to the list of apps here and we wanna just go up to the M section and select messages. So now that we're in messages, scroll down and select text message forwarding. And if this is turned on for any device, again, you just wanna make sure that that's a device that you own and use. If it's a device that you have never used before, turn that off because that could be a method used to spy on your text messages. So now just go back to the main page of the settings and once you're there, scroll down a little bit until you get to privacy and security. Select that. Now that we're in privacy and security, I would recommend scrolling down and then select safety check. Go ahead and select manage sharing and access and go through the safety check process. That'll make sure that you're not sharing your location or any of your information with someone that you did not intend to share with. Once you've gone through that, go back. And once you get back, just scroll up a little bit until this section right here where we see microphone and camera. And what I recommend doing is going through these. So select camera, and just see which apps have access to your camera. If it's an app that you don't think needs access to your camera, go ahead and toggle it off. If they don't need it, you don't need to give it to them. So just turn off the access to your camera for that app and then go back and do the same thing for microphone or any of these permissions here. So I'm gonna do microphone as well. Everything there should have access to my microphone, so I'm not gonna turn it off. Once you've made sure that only appropriate apps have access to different permissions on your phone, scroll down and I recommend selecting app privacy report and turning on app privacy report. This will start logging anytime an app uses any of the permissions on your phone, and then you can see which apps are using it. So if you notice any apps using a lot of permissions, that may be an app that is spying on you. Now that we've gone through app permissions, the next thing I would do is go back to the main page of the settings here and then select battery. Once we're in battery, select last five days. And we want to do is scroll down and look at the battery usage by app. Now, a lot of these apps are apps that I actually use, but if you see any apps using a lot of your battery life and you don't recognize that app or you never use it, that may be a sign that that app is spying on you. So go through this list. And if you see any apps that look weird, you can either uninstall them or revoke their permissions using the steps I showed you earlier. All right. Finally, the last thing I would recommend doing to see if anybody is spying on your iPhone is to first go back to the main page of the settings here, then select the first option where you see Apple account and iCloud. Once you get inside your Apple account, scroll all the way down and you just want to see if there are any devices on here that you don't recognize. If you see any devices that you don't recognize or shouldn't have access to your Apple account, go ahead and select them and just select remove from account. Confirm you want to remove it. And then that device will no longer show up in the list of devices that have access to your account. All right, so those were some simple steps that hopefully help you check if someone is spying on your phone. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.